Hi, my dear students. In the last class, we have discussed some topics. Those are like natural numbers, whole numbers, and rational numbers. Now, we will discuss some more things about rational numbers. Uh, last class, we have discussed, we have completed our definition and uh, examples and uh, some more important points, nearly three to four important points we have discussed. So, now we will continue the syllabus. So actually, in the ninth class of the chapter is the rational numbers, rational numbers. But some somehow topics what we have discussed in the seventh class are as it is in the ninth class syllabus. In the seventh and eighth class again uh, in the ninth class. Now the chapter is rational irrational numbers. The topic of irrational numbers is somehow big in the chapter of rational numbers in the ninth class. Syllabus. Are you okay with this? I think I can't do it. You can't do understand. No problem. We will discuss some more things about this. So we can understand. So okay. Now we will discuss uh, after the fifth topic is irrational numbers. The fifth topic is irrational numbers. Now we are discussing about irrational numbers. Mm. Okay. In this irrational numbers, already we have completed rational numbers. The numbers which are in the form of P by Q are not rational numbers. Am I right? The number which are in the form of P by Q are called rational number. The number which are not in the form of P by Q are called irrational numbers. Irrational numbers are denoted by the symbol Q dash. Irrational numbers are denoted by the symbol Q dash. The number which are not in the form of P by Q. Actually, rational numbers are in the form of P by Q. Irrational numbers are not in the form of P by Q. Rational numbers are P by Q form on the irrational numbers are P by Q form on the whole. Examples. Examples of the irrational numbers are we have to discuss some more. Those are pi. The value of pi, the value of pi is 22 by 7 or 3.14. Actually, the value of pi is not exactly equal to the 22 by 7 and not exactly equal to the 3.14. That is the adjustment. The values are adjusted by our great mathematicians are adjusted to 3, the value of pi is 22 by 7 and 3.14. But the value of pi is not exactly 22 by 7 and the value of pi is not exactly equal to the 3.14. We will discuss later. Later means in the next video about the rational numbers. Clearly, we will explain again about pi. And pi and this is the, those are the values root 2 and root 3 and root 5, root 6 and root 7 and so on are called irrational numbers. So, if you see 2, 3, we, we did not write 4. The same way, we did not write 1. 1 right and 1 right and 4 right and 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, we are not writing it 9. 9 right and 10. Why? Because, so, if you write them, we do not, we did not write 1, 4, 9, 1, 4, 9, and the next 16 and 25 and the 36 and so on. These are our common perfect square numbers. These are called perfect square numbers. If you apply the square root of these perfect square numbers, if you apply the square root of these perfect square numbers, we will get the rational numbers. Square root of 1 is 1, square root of 4 is 2, square root of 9 is 3, square root of 16 is equal to 4, 25, 5, 16, 6 and so on. That's why we, we did not we did not apply the square root of the number. If you apply the square root of the perfect square numbers, we will get the rational numbers. If you apply the square root of the non-perfect squares, those are 2, so there is no 2, 3, so we did not get 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, these are called irrational numbers. Is it? Irrational. The number which are not in the form of P by Q are called right? irrational numbers. Irrational numbers are denoted by the symbol Q dash. Write Q and keep one upside above Q. 
q dash the irrational numbers are denoted by the symbol q dash so the examples of the uh, irrational numbers are pi root 2 root 3 root 5 root 6 and so on. root 7 and so on. are you okay with students are you okay these are the irrational numbers so now we will discuss very well about rational numbers again so we have discussed in the seventh class and eighth class so again we have to memorize all the things about the rational numbers then after we will discuss the topic irrational numbers are you okay we just briefly expect uh, we briefly we have discussed it up to natural numbers to rational numbers what is the definition what are the examples what are the nature of the numbers what are the rational numbers what are the irrational numbers? what is the whole numbers what is it is we just discuss what are their natures now we will discuss their properties and their some of the operations of the, the numbers so we will start from the rational numbers the rational numbers after that then after after the rational numbers we will discuss very well and the more about irrational numbers are you okay my students so we will discuss some things about rational numbers so again i am asking you students what is the definition of a rational number tell me the numbers which are in the form of e by q are called rational numbers rational numbers are denoted by the symbol q capital q okay now we are now i am writing representation of representation of rational numbers on the number line like representation of rational numbers on the number line representation of rational numbers on the number line we have to keep the hidden for representation of rational numbers on the number line so we will write down the question is represent other examples those are 1 by 3 5 by 3 minus 2 by 3 minus 4 by 3 comma 0 on the number line. This is the question. We have to represent. Represent. 1 by 3, 5 by 3, minus 2 by 3, minus 4 by 3, 0 on the number line. We have to discuss these numbers on the number line. So, we will draw the number first. So, this is the number line. The middle of the number line is 0. Now, we have to think, we have to do some work in your mind. That is, if you see the numbers, every number has a denominator 3, 1 by 3, 5 by 3, minus 2 by 3, minus 4. If the denominators are the same, we have to represent all the numbers in single number. We have to represent all the numbers in a single number. If the denominators are different, so we can use the different numbers. So, in our problem, luckily, we have the denominators are same. So, now we are writing the right side of the zero, that is on the number line, right side of the zero, the numbers are positive, left side of the zero, the numbers are negative. We have our own so in the integers we have another, that's why we can apply it. So if, the, if this is the 0, the denominator is 3, that's why the first number is we are writing 1 by 3 and the next one is 2 by 3 and the next one 3 by 3. So I will get this number page. 4 by 3, 5 by 3 and 6 by 3 and so on. So if you see this, here 1 by 3, the value of 1 by 3 is 0 0.3333 in between 0 and 1. 2 by 3, this is also less than 1. 3 by 3, that means 3 by 3 actually we have 1. 3 by 3 means 1. 
फोर बाई थ्री फाइव बाई थ्री सिक्स बाई थ्री दट मीन टू दीरो वन टू इन बिटवीन जीरो एंड वन देर आर टू नंबर्स तो सर वन बाई थ्री टू बाई थ्री The same in between one and two, there are two numbers, four by three, five by three. That means we are equally divided the spaces of the numbers. The same. Way. If you write the negative number, this is minus one by three, this is minus two by three, and this is minus three by three, and this is minus four by three, and this is minus five by three, and this is minus. The same way. Here minus one by three, minus two by three, minus three by three, minus three by three means this is minus one. Minus six by three is two. So now the number is one by three. If you want one by three, we can find the number one by three. What what is the next five by three? Where is the five by three? Here is the five by three. We can find the five by three. The same way, minus two by three we want. We want minus two. The same way if you want minus four by three, this is also minus two. This is zero. Zero means zero, not zero by three. So we want zero. This is the way of representation of rational numbers on the number line. This is the way of rational representation of rational numbers on the number line. Are you okay, my dear students? We have learned very well in the same eighth class and the seventh class also. I will explain it again. So we have to see the numbers. If they have been the same denominator. We have to represent all the numbers in the singular manner. In the singular manner, if the denominators are the different, the denominators are different. So now we can use the different numbers. We will see the next question. The next question. So second question. We will discuss the second question. That is represent. Represent two by seven. Minus two by five, one by four on the number line. If you see this question, two by seven, it is a rational number. Minus two by five, one by four on the number. So here, I'm telling you, before going to start the problem, we have to. Re Recollect your knowledge. That means here two by seven, two by minus two by five, one by four. The denominator is the same, not same. These are the different four, five, seven. So we cannot represent this. We cannot represent these three numbers on the same number line. So we can use a different number line. So I am using first time representing two by seven. First two by seven. So how can we represent? In between the middle one is zero. Right side of the zero of the positive numbers, left side of the zero of the negative numbers. So this is the one by seven. This is two by seven. This is three by seven. This is four by seven. The same way we are making minus one by seven. This is minus two by seven. So this is minus three by seven. So what we want two by seven we want. So we can circle the number two. We just circle the number two. Is the same way. If you want minus two by five, so you see, you can draw the number line. So you can draw the number line. So that is the middle middle of the number line is zero. So the denominator is five. So now we are writing one by five, two by five, three by five, four by five. So up to our wish. So the actually we only need by because there is a negative number. It's very here minus one by five. This is minus two by five. This is minus three by five. So what you want minus two by five? You want so we can settle that minus two by five. The same way one by four. We can represent one by four as a number. One. So middle one is zero. We can write the denominator four. So now I am writing one by four. This is two by four. This is three by four. This is four by four. Same way. Minus one by four. Minus two by four. Minus three by four. Minus four by four. So what I want one by four over. So we just cancel the number. This is the way of 
representation of rational numbers on the number line. This is the way of rational numbers, representation of rational numbers on the number line. Okay, my dear students, I will give you some work on this. So, first we have to load on this. Load on. Okay, how you loaded this? So, now we move on to the next part. That is, rational numbers between cubic indices. Rational numbers. Between two rationals. Two rationals. Rational numbers between two rationals. So I think we have left in this topic in the right place. Okay. Once again, we will remember this. So now, the question. The rational numbers between two rational numbers. First of all, I am writing over one rational number. Two. Is this rational number? Yes. And three. Is this rational number? Yes. How many rational numbers between these two rational numbers? How many rational numbers between the rational numbers 2 and 3. 2 key, 3 key, Madhiro, any rational numbers in track. Those are infinite. How many have there? Infinite. This is the point. We get how many rational numbers between two rational numbers? Infinite rational numbers between two rational numbers. We have to find what are it? What are the value? So if you see in between 2 and 3, there are the rational numbers 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, and 2.5 up to 2.9. These are between 2 and 3. And the sum of in between 2 and uh, 2 and 2.1, you can write 2.01. Two key two point one two point two point zero one by seven two key two point one by seven two point the same way two point zero two and so and so on two point zero three again two point one key two point two key by seven two point one one two point one two two point one three so any rational numbers between two rational numbers if I have two rational numbers which are infinite rational numbers which are which I am not looking there are infinite rational numbers between two rational numbers. Infinite rational numbers between two rational numbers. So now we are finding the rational numbers between two rational numbers. Either in the form of 2 and 3 and either in the form of p by 2. That means either in the form of um, fractions. We can do it. So now we can do the right formula. Another form is Find the two rational numbers. Find two rational numbers Find two rational numbers between
they are giving the numbers given numbers
n plus 1 is equal to 5 plus 1 that is equal to 6. Okay? For example, if you want 10 rational numbers, n is equal to 10, n plus 1 is equal to 10 plus 1 is equal to 11. Otherwise, if you want 12 rational numbers, n is equal to 12, 12 plus 1 is equal to 30. Now, what are the numbers we have? 5 and 6. Take 5. We want the rational numbers between 5 and 6. 5 to 6 came out of rational numbers called last number is 6. What is n plus 1 value? 6. We can do the multiplication and divide with 6 for 5 and also 6. That means we have it. 5 into 6 by 6. Why because n plus 1 is 6? So there are so many rational numbers between here. Again, I mean 6 into 6 by 6. Now, 5, 6 are 30, 30 by 6. Okay. Here, 6, 6 are 36 by 6. So, we need to cancel here. If you cancel 6 to 30, we are getting 5. If you cancel 6 to 36, we are getting 6. No need to cancel. Now, 30 by 6, this is 36 by 6. In between 30 by 6 and 36 by 6, we have 5 numbers. What are that? 31 by 6. Here, 32 by 6. Here, 33 by 6. And 34 by 6, comma, 35 by 6. Come how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are the, our required rational numbers between 5 and 6. Therefore, the 5 rational numbers are Therefore, the five rational numbers is equal to what are that? Thirty-one by six, comma thirty-two by six, comma thirty-three by six, comma thirty-four by six, comma thirty-five by six. This is the one of the methods to find the rational numbers between two rational numbers. If you know this method, you can follow. Otherwise, already I have explained the uh, previous question, mean method, you can do the mean method. Otherwise, we have the another method is there. That is, that they are giving two rational numbers. What are the 5 comma 6? The rational numbers 5 comma 6. We have to multiply and divide with any of the numbers, the multiples of 10, either 10 or 50, either 10 or 100 or 200 or whatever. So, for example, if you want to multiply with 10, 5 times 5 into 10 by 10, 10 times 10 times 10, we are getting 5. So, no problem. The same way here, 6 into 10 by 10. That means we are getting here 50 by 10. Here, we are getting here. 60 by 10. Now write the rational numbers between 50 by 10 and 60 by 10. What are that? 51 by 10, comma, 52 by 10, comma, 53 by 10, comma, 54 by 10, comma, we want 5, number 55 by 10. So if you want 10, you can write 56, 57, 58, 59, you will get 9 rational numbers. If you want to multiply with 100, 5 into 100 by 100, you will get the 99 rational numbers. So I will explain the rational numbers between three ra rational numbers between two rational numbers in three different methods. The first one mean method, or the second method m and n plus one method, other this method. If you understand which method very well, you can follow that. If you know the first method, you can follow that. Or second, you can. Otherwise, third, you can. So I will give you some work to you, some given, I will give you some homework you can do. That is the page number 4, the third question. Find, example 3, find two rational numbers between 3 and 4 by mean method. You can do the homework. When you are watching this video, do the homework and send the pics. And the down questions are there. Do this. Find five rational numbers between 2 and 3 by mean method. Five rational numbers by mean method. They are mentioned mean method. So you have to do only mean method. In the third example, find 10 rational numbers between minus 3 by 11 and 8 by 11. It's very easy. Minus 3 here, 8 here. Here minus 2 by 11, minus 1 by 11, 0, 1 by 11, 2 by 11, 3 by 11, 4 by 11, 5 by 11, 6 by 11, 7 by 11. There are some just 10. You can get the 10 rational numbers easily. Okay, my dear students, do, this, do the work and 
some more problems in this seventh phase of exercise we will discuss later thank you